Hey everybody, I'm sorry you glad, just call me glad, and I hope the game's not overpowering me. It shouldn't. I've been balancing everything for a little while. And look what I forgot about. So, uh, one of the first playthroughs I did for my channel was Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I played through Sora's story. And then I just kind of forgot, because I spent so long trying to think of how I was going to do Riku's story. Like, whether I just wanted to just play through it, or I just wanted to show the bosses um I didn't do it however now I'll go ahead and do it because I just realized that I don't have another game to record and this would be something nice that I can do it Riku's story is a lot um it's a lot shorter than Sora's that much is sure but I'm gonna probably be grinding a lot in order to get cards and to make sure I can defeat the bosses because I don't have a reliable way to heal as Riku um anyway let's just let's start it up my friend was telling me not to play as Riku and I'm like let's play as Riku it's like the foul to use I guess I'll use Riku one I mean and I'm sorry about the background the picture not quite syncing up it's like the Klonoa and that doesn't quite sync up all the way. But it, I need to figure out, like, to put a black box there or something. Ugh. Yay, more horrible voice acting. Where, where am I? Sleep. Who's there? Sleep. Here. Between light and dark. Between, between what? The king! Where's the king? Together we close the door to darkness, and after that... <sighs> Why can't I remember? Your king is far away. Sleep, and leave the war with darkness in his hands. The thorny light of awakening will bring only anguish to one in your state. Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. You talk like I'm some kind of demon of the dark. Can you face the truth? Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. Is this a card? It is a door to the truth. Take it, and your sleep ends. Take it, and take the first step toward the truth. But know this, the truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? There can be no returning to the sweet security of sleep. Dream drop distance craps on that idea. <laughs> yeah, well, seems like a boring place to take a nap anyway. Well said, Riku. A door to the truth, huh? Unlike Sora, I'm gonna do this how I've been doing videos, so I'm not, or yeah, I'm not gonna edit it, so you're not gonna see like the little ending part and stuff like that, unfortunately. Because I don't even think you can play annotations on YouTube anymore. Didn't they stop that? This is Maleficent's castle. How do I end up here? Someone must have brought me here while I was sleeping. But who? What you see is not real. It is the world of your memory. My memory? Are you not questioning the mysterious voice, Riku? The things you remember of Maleficent's castle from your time there. Those memories became a card, and that card became this world. The things you see, you've seen them all before, haven't you? Yeah. So what now? Am I supposed to learn something while I'm here? Maybe run into someone I know? Ordinarily, yes. You would meet the people in your memories. Ordinarily? Hey, I'm asking you a question. Fine. 
But it better be you I run to next, voice. I'm sick of talking to thin air. I'm not as confident in my Riku as my Sora. If I was a voice actor, I feel like I would do a better upbeat character than someone like like Sora than someone like Riku. But anyway, first things we'll notice, I'll go ahead and show this off. So while playing as Riku, Riku can't build his own deck. He must battle using a closed deck with pre-selected cards. The deck Riku ch uses changes as he proceeds through the castle. That's the biggest difference between Sora and Riku. So while Sora, you can load up on cards that do powerful slates, slights, sorry, like Sonic Blade, Riku can't. Every floor you go to, he's stuck with a certain number of cards. Now, I could say this would be the same between this version and the remake, but the remake, due to the dual system they added in, Changes his decks, like completely changes his decks. Some worlds don't even have the same amount of cards or anything. So right now we have a bunch of Soul Eaters, which are Riku's only attack card. We have a Potion and the Defender, which decreases damage from enemies' physical attacks. The only enemy card we have right now. So there's not as much deck management in Riku's story. It's much more streamlined. But anyway... Up, oh, grab, 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 don't hit me. First things first. <laughs> uh, if I can get a level up, I will, probably won't get it in this fight. Uh, no, I need four more. Okay. Come here, you. I need cards anyway, so <laughs> we're just gonna go straight into this. Come on. There we go. There's level up. Okay. So. You'll notice something different between Riku and Sora. Riku has HP boost, attack boost, and darkness boost. Um, yeah, they're different than Sora's because Sora has HP, CP, and slights, which you know Riku doesn't get slights. Darkness boost, DP, uh, that won't be an issue till later, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. His um attack is important because unlike Sora, he doesn't get different cards, so cards don't deal more damage. Instead, you raise his attack, which you can raise every three levels, I believe, and that depend that makes him hit harder the higher that is. As well as his HP is basic. So we're gonna go with attack boost. Just take it because it's the first one. We have 11 AP, so hit a little bit harder, but it's not gonna be noticeable. That's that, and you'll also notice. Anything you hit with Riku will never drop, um, will never drop Moogle points, and the, really, I level up that again that fast. They'll never drop Moogle points, and they'll never drop cards because you can't edit his deck, so you can't buy things. So we're just gonna go straight up with the HP boost. Your max DP is 99, by the way. I recommend around 30 because you don't need 99. I think the only time I have 99 is I have it um, in my original Game Boy file. It's at like, because I'm a level 99, I think. As well as my PS3 version file, because level 99. Do the trophy, which I have to do again. It took 12 hours to grind up to level 99 as Riku. I know because I watched a 12 hour. Um, archive of a stream on YouTube where someone did 100% of Jimmy's journal as a speedrun. It takes a long time. So you're gonna you're gonna kinda see how I do my levels. With Riku, um I will focus on DP a little bit later once it becomes an issue, but for right now it's gonna be HP and AP. So I guess we'll just throw that up. I mean, there's it's a save point, but again, like watch this. Oh, only HP. You can only ever get HP from these things. Um, and so look at the map. Notice how it's in the bottom left. It says B12, because Sora went through floors one through thirteen. Riku goes from floors B12 to uh, B1. But anyway, um. I can't see your requirements, so I just have to pick a direction and go it. 
So we're gonna go this way. Uh, two up. Yeah, they... And since enemies don't drop enemy cards, because you can't edit your deck, um, you have really no reason not to use, like, feeble cards. Because the reason you didn't use them in Sora's story, especially while grinding for um, enemy cards, is because I think they lower the chance of you getting an enemy card. Whereas if you make the enemies tougher, it raises the chance. So, you don't want to lower it. Oh, I'm hitting mode, not... Okay, so we go. Hitting the wrong button. And Riku doesn't have a dodge roll. In the um, remake, he has a dodge roll that's kind of like a handspring that's really terrible at trying to get distance on enemies because you stop all of a sudden as you're dodging. In this version, in the Game Boy version, he just has a quick back step. Oh, could she stop? Like, yeah, you just... It's more useful than dodge roll because you immediately change the direction you're facing. So like defenders, you can immediately attack instead of having to wait for them to turn, wait to turn Sora around again. Okay, come on. Level up. And again, like I said, every three levels you can get an attack boost. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab it. So what are you... You are here. Any red card. Let's kill this enemy. Um, let's kind of clear out this room. Then I'll go ahead and end the video off. Up, oh, crabby, turn around. The only bad part about this is they have a very... It's either front or back with enemies in the, this version of the game. I don't know why Feeble Darkness affects shadows, because they just play ones anyway. Mingling worlds. Huh. Okay. Come on. You should be the last enemy in this room, because I know there's not this many enemies in Feeble rooms. The one thing I do have a problem with for Riku is a lot of his sprites seem to be reused for different things. This should be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Like, he has a lot of sprites that kind of do the same thing. Um, so, any red card. We're going to take this 8, because I don't want that. Okay, first little story bit. Riku doesn't have as much story as Sora. Just as a forewarning. It's like he said, everything's just how I remember it. Even this room. It must be nice being back in your old bedroom. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but these memories I could do without. Maleficent gave me this room. So she did. And you lived there, tempted by the darkness she offered. You cast away your home, your friends, everything. But at least they gave you a nice room. Shut up. And we got the key of guidance. Okay, yeah, so where is that at? Um I want to say it's either this room or this room. Let's go ahead and throw out I need a three or up. Um the lowest number card I have is a four. I do not like that. Um Okay. Looking at the time of night, it's like almost eleven o'clock at night. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Now I can one combo shadows. Can't one shot them. I don't think you can ever one shot enemies in this game, unless you use like Warpinator or you just hit a use a very hard hitting slight. Oh, um, another few differences I didn't notice about didn't note about Riku. Um, it's kind of like. The differences between Mario and Luigi, if anyone's ever played a, like Mario and Luigi game, like, who has it? Where Luigi jumps higher and tends 
to slide around when stopping. Riku does that same kind of thing. He slides when stopping and can jump higher than Sora. Like, slide! <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Can I get to that room from here? I cannot, so that is probably not the room I'm trying to go to. Stop it. Jeez, stop. Give me the EXP. I need that. <laughs> oh, I'll level up after this fight. There we go. There's the next level. Oh, come on. Like I said, this isn't going to be as long as the Sora playthrough. It's just so I can have videos. Um, let's go over Darkness Boost for this one. Well, that failed. And also, Looming Darkness, no big thing with it because, again, enemy cards aren't a thing other than what the game gives you. It'd be nice if there were enemy cards. Like, if you defeated an enemy and it happened to drop it, it would just add it to your deck and you'd always have it. But they didn't go that route. Nice. <laughs> Some days. Any more else? Come on. I'm sorry if this seems very grind heavy like the beginning of the Final Fantasy playthrough. Fighting all these battles. But it it does pay off, I swear, because you want the EXP. You usually want to clear out every couple rooms as well as um You want to clear out every couple rooms as well as kind of, um... Every first room of every floor, at least, you want to empty out. For the EXP and for the cards, make sure you don't run out while exploring. I feel... I may have said this already in the Sora playthrough, but again, it's been over a year since I did the Sora playthrough. Not quite a year since I finished it, I don't think. Has it been a year? Or has it been more? I think it's only been a year. I don't know. I have to look back at the videos and see when they were posted originally. Or, or at least when the playlist was last edited. I still hate defenders because they tend to do that. Turn around in the middle of your combo. I did not. Oh, come on. Part of the reason I sat down to think of doing this was I wanted to do like a little like review type thing. That would be like looking back on the games I played as a kid and like judging them just for, or looking back through games I played through my channel and just judging them not based off of um, them being like bad games or anything. Oh, why do I have a number nine? I will probably trash that for something. Um, but kind of looking back and judging the game based on my experience while playing through it for a channel. Obviously, for a lot of games where I play them multiple times, it's going to vary wildly based on the games I only played once. Okay, that's that. Please. Alright, level 7. I think I want to be about 10 before I leave this floor. That shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Okay, well, HP boost this time, because at, I think, 8, I'll get another um, AP boost. Okay, let's go ahead and head to the store before these guys decide they want to fight. So I can see more of the story, or whatever. I will at least do that other door, and then we'll go ahead and we'll end off this part. One fifty-nine. Okay. There it is. Ah, leave me alone! Ah! I need any green card and the key of guidance. So, what is that nine? That's not the nine. You are the nine. I knew I was going to be... Nope. <laughs> I knew I was getting rid of that. 
Again, like the original Sora, I'm going to keep this about 20 minutes per part. Just a good n number for me. No one here, either. There's nothing but Heartless in this castle. Voice, I know you're watching, so explain this. Where are the people from my memories? Tell me! Are you sure you want to see them? Of course I do. But you cast them aside. To reach the outside world, you pass through the door to darkness. Behind you, you left family, friends, home, everything, all in pursuit of darkness. But I cast that aside too. Then what do you have to show for it? First your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to throw things away. It's empty, like that room. Like your memories. That's why no one is in the castle with you. Your heart is hollow, except for the darkness you couldn't quite shake off. You're full of it! I rejected the darkness! <laughs> Did you really now? We got the key to truth. Alright, it's going to kick me back out here, so I'm going to pause before anything tries to attack me. But anyway, that's going to be all now for now. So thanks everyone for watching, and next time we will head into the, um... We'll head into, what is it called again? Again, The Door to Truth. I just got the key for it, and I already forgot the name. How many times have I played this game again? <laughs> anyway... Thanks everyone for watching, and see you! I'm really, really sorry that it took me so long to get to playing this game. I really do like this game. I like it a lot. And Riku is not as long. And I thought, might as well play through this game again. Because it's been a while. I will go back and see when that playlist was last edited so that I know exactly how long ago it was that I actually started this playthrough. Thanks everyone for watching, and see you!